Welcome back everyone, I'm Happy Tangent, and this is Detroit Become Human, part four. Looks like we're showing up to Marcus's place where he takes care of Carl. If, uh, as I stated in my last video, there probably aren't too many options. I know there will be some slight differences. Of course, we'll try to do this playthrough, this chapter, pretty fast, but there shouldn't be any real branching areas in this chapter, but we're getting there. All right, quick sweep. All right, yep, that's me. Oh, the birds, that's right. Oh, come on now, forgot all about these guys. Little Tweety birds. Alright, come on, join your join your little buddy. There you are. Let's see. What else we have going on? Oh yeah, that's right, I can get the uh kitchen ready. Alright, if I take that, knowing how this game works, once you get stuff in your hands you can't interact as much. So we're actually going to do a quick sweep of everywhere else before we grab that tray. One of Carl's mini paintings. He was a, he's a pretty famous artist. Alright. Trying to give everything their little moment. Checked out the piano. Alright, there's the light. Tidy up before we get down here later. Oh, I guess there will be some different choices this go around. I'm starting to remember some now. Nothing that's going to blow us away, but, you know, still different nonetheless. Commentary's changing. I, hopefully I'm not repeating everything I say the same. Well, apparently my controller wants me to switch it out, but we can make it through the end of this chapter. Alright, should be probably at least one more other spot to tidy up. There we go. Alright, there's my Mr. Giant Robot Arm. Anything over here? Check this table. Oh, there's something. That should be it, probably. Wow, well, I almost feel like I missed some of this. I don't know if I remember doing that part. Okay. Got the studio cleaned up. Gotta go back and get the food. Do a quick sweep of here, though. Spin the old globe. They don't really talk much about uh, the androids in other parts of the world. I know they did state that in Canada, uh, I don't remember if they don't have dro androids at all or if it's just that they're free. I'm pretty sure they just don't have them at all. Um, let's see. But, you know, Russia, there's some... Uh, Tense moments going on with Russia in the game. They, I know they have androids, but we don't really get to hear about how any of this alters the rest of the world. Checkmate in three moves for silver. I think, if I remember correctly, we we came to a draw last time, so maybe maybe this time we'll just win, since Carl knows we can. Anyhow, I mean, come on, we're, uh, we got a supercomputer for a brain. Got the smiley face on his coffee mug. Alright, whoop. There we go. Let's make our way up to Carl. 
Oh, did it? Oh, does it want me? Okay. I'm getting it ready for him. We're setting it on the table first. Okay, so I probably did grab it immediately on my first playthrough and then just realized I put it down right away. Oh, birds are singing. Alright, let's, uh, let's just touch the front door to make sure. Okay. Alright, let's go grab Carl. Nice artwork everywhere. I don't know if I can look at this one. I know, I believe I can look at this relief. Yep. Of course, uh, dino bones. Some sort of underwater sea creature. Chandelier. I think this might be Carl right here. Okay. And the rest of the room, I'm pretty sure, is empty. Well, I think I see something over here and you look out the window, there's a telescope. I don't think you can interact with it though. Anything? Doesn't look to be the case. Of course you can get a up close view of the draft they stuck in here from The Last of Us. Once they uh, solved the uh, little, I don't know how you call that plant mushroom problem, they uh, then that Poor giraffe from that game passed on and they did some taxidermy on him. Alright. There you go, Carl. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did okay. go to pick up the paint. Go ahead, order. Carl. Stay in bed. I'll, I'll leave you alone. Forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Time to Should give you a medicine. Arm, please, Carl? No. Carl. I insist. Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Here you go. Up's a daisy. I think we could access the bathroom prior to this, so you probably just never get an opportunity to see if there's anything in there. Always trying to leave no stone unturned. I'm wondering how well my button prompt skills have increased after having played this already. I'm sure I'm gonna mess up some of the action sequences again. Hopefully not the ones I messed up already. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? We're gonna race you, Carl. Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. I think we lost last time. This time we were prepared. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Of course, for those new, Leo is Carl's son. I'm starving. 
<laughs> well, your breakfast is ready. Oh, Bacon I forgot that's where we were going. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Sorry, Carl. I was trying to take you to the studio. Voila! Bon appétit! Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Okay. I feel like I did chess. Maybe I can just play some piano. Oh, there we go. I guess I could have went around and unlocked the options. But, I did not play the piano last time, and I know Marcus is a good musician. Alright, what do we want? Let's go, just go top. I love this stuff. I'm just a fan of classic music, apparently. What you guys don't see is all these button prompts flashing up so fast the recording's not getting it. Oh, that's a unique touch. It's all based on how fast you hit the buttons. That's kind of cool. I could kind of uh, change up the Something tempo. Change in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Because we don't get the opportunity to play chess, and that makes sense, though. We definitely did unlock one of the other options playing the piano. I don't know what the third option is. Maybe it's climbing the giraffe. We'll have to save that for the third one. Alright, let's get you in your little robo arm. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Beautiful, Carl, beautiful. Looks like he's tickling that guy's ear on the painting. Oh, and I'll say it again, for those not aware, this is Lance Henriksen is playing this character. Who I've stated the one way I know him and most nerds is he's Bishop in the Aliens movies. He reappears in Aliens vs. Predator, uh, Waylon, I forget, I'm sorry. Um, but also, I know him from video games because he's the voice of Admiral Hackett in Mass Effect. He's always popping up and giving you new missions. Hack it out. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I like, don't like, no opinion. Let's go with don't like. Let's switch I'm it up. I'm not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best word. <laughs> nice. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Go 
Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> If you insist. Find a subject. Of course, there's Carl's. That'd be kind of neat to just copy his. Thought about doing the statue, but you know what? Let's see what he says about just copying his. Little brush strokes on the touchpad. Had to get that angle just right on that one. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Seems like that'd be wet paint. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. All right, well, give it a try. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Oh boy, I don't remember what we chose last time. Let's go with identity. I, I normally don't go bottom. I'm a prisoner. Okay, so we went identity and prisoner. I don't exactly remember what ours looked like first playthrough. I really, I really do appreciate the music in this game. makes me feel like I'm the prisoner to Carl. Oh, great, Leo. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. He's on that red ice. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? I'm definitely smarter. You know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Carl, you never just say me. the word and I'll knock him out. That must be the end of chapter four.
we should have a few things we did different but like I'd stated before really this is probably one of the last chapters that there's not too many like real big different uh, effects that we could do let's see here alright so okay we read some stuff let's just see what pops out yeah play chess looks like probably the majority of people played the piano there's still a third option we haven't even come across maybe that's do nothing who knows um, I think when we played chess we did a draw it seems like that's popular uh, music wise it looks like everybody went with hopeful uh, I did the melancholic uh, let's see here I really like that piano part though though I, I didn't realize right at first because I was tapping uh, like I said, you didn't see all those button prompts, but uh, I, I was tapping them. They were showing up so fast you couldn't see them. But when I actually slowed down, it changed the tempo on that. That was a nice little touch. Let's see. Copy Carl's painting. The first time we did the desk. This time we did his. Um, okay, so paint from the heart. Identity. Wow. That is the overwhelming percentage, I believe. I think I did androids. It was definitely a different painting than my first one because I chose Prisoner. Uh, I don't remember what we did at all. And then, of course, Leo shows up and asks for money. All right, well, that's going to do it for part four of my second playthrough. We're going to take a, a more aggressive approach, changing up options. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying watching the videos. Like I've stated, this is my first time. This is my first playthrough of any game. I'm, I'm new to uh, these making these videos, this content creating stuff. I'm greatly enjoying it. I want people to be able to uh, hear my commentary and maybe get a chance to see games they wouldn't normally try out. So uh, please like and subscribe. I hope you come back for more. This is Happy Tangent. We'll see you then.